So I want to give you a quick update on uh, my swing. Uh, I've been working with uh, the Flyscope Mibo for a while. And basically, um, what I, the information that I've seen is that I needed to work on my contact. So I want to show you how I went from an average of 145 um, yards with my 7 iron to a max of 168. Let me, let me explain to you what happened. So, okay, so these are the figures when uh, I first got the Mevo. Uh, you can see here the carry distance. Um, it was about 138, uh, 140. Then there was some uh, 149. Um, there were some 50, 150s as well, but uh, it did not go above 150. And so what I was looking at, I was looking at the ball, uh, the ball uh, speed here. And um, I noticed that everything was like below 100. So basically, I uh, looked at the uh, smash factor, as you can see here. And I was pretty low, which meant really that, I, that I, my contact wasn't, wasn't very good. Um, so what I did is I uh, tried to I look at the videos, basically. And I noticed that, my, uh, that I was hitting the ball a lot with the toe. Um, and so that's what led to this uh, low uh, carry distance. So basically, I looked at the swing and um, I was looking at the uh, contact because that's what uh, Mivo uh, was telling me that uh, I wasn't making good contact. So I realized that I was uh, striking the ball severely on the toe, and that was uh, that's why the ball speed was uh, was low. So now, uh, if I look at my carry distance. Um, you can see that the uh, the average went like almost 20 yards more. I mean, it just jumped. There's even 168 there and 158 and um, 161. And then there was a few other uh, in the 60s. But that was just a huge, huge uh, improvement. And then I look at the smash factor here and that number... All the sudden was really high so all I did I was just uh, I was just making better contact that's all now uh, obviously the swing speed um, that was um, that increased as well but if I look at the uh, the contact it was just much better as you can see here there we go so that that right there changed a lot for me in, in distance it's just I just gained about 20 yards Okay, so let me show you. I got the Mevo set up for 7 iron um, and I have my 7 iron. So let me, let's see. Carry is 162.1 yards. So they gave me. Um, 162 you can see right here let me come this way 162 uh, club speed 82.8 ball speed 110 and mostly if you can see the um, the smash factor uh, that when um, is much higher than what, what it used to be so so I think that's great I mean that's really um really changed my distances i would say by about 20 yards which is just incredible so i mean i, I never thought like i could hit 162 that's just insane for me so let me take a few more shots So I think that's just uh, that's just incredible uh, to be able to hit another uh, just an extra 20 yards just like that. And uh, so I think you know sometimes if you just look at your swing uh, and just uh, kind of change just a few things, or you understand what you're doing, that can differ, uh, that can just make a big difference, I guess. So okay, so what I want to do, I'm gonna I'm gonna take 10 swings with my seven iron and. Um, and then I'm just going to start a new session here. 
and then I'll, I'll show you my my averages here. Seven iron. Okay, so I did take more than 10 shots, but uh, I just want to show you the um, the carry on it. Um, I wasn't, I only got one over uh, a 60, but um, you know, after you start hitting ball after ball, it's kind of hard to stay focused. But if you can look at the smash factor, that is excellent uh, compared to Tor I used to hit um, where it was really, really low. Again, so compared to this shots right here, if you just look at the carry in yards, that's a huge difference. Um, and mainly, uh, like I said before, that is just a smash. Just go over to the smash, the, ma the smash factor, and that's the uh, the number that is quite low there. I'm sure there's other factors as well, like the launch angle, which is something that I was working on too, trying to cut it down. So. But uh, if you look at the uh, the carry distance, there is a huge difference. To average about 150, 155, and here the average it, it was like 140, I think, or even less. Um, so that that is excellent, I think. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to do uh, another gapping on my um, on my irons. Uh, I do see some differences in. Um, my seven in particular, uh, where I can go from as low as like 148 now to like uh, as high as 168. So that's a 20 yard difference and uh, that could be missing the green maybe so, or passing the green for that matter. So I need to work on that and see, get the right feeling, uh, maybe do that at the range. The only problem with the range is that the range balls are really old and so it's hard to get the right distance with it. Um, so I just look at the ball flight when I go to the range. Um, but definitely, this I'm really, really happy with the with the results. I mean, it's it's great. I think it's due mostly to my uh, my takeaway. It kind of feels like the more I take the club away from the outside, if I look at my my best shots, thanks to the Mevo on the replay, uh, the ones that I hit like uh, above 160, I'm really taking the club outside. So. So that's, if I can just keep working on that and work on better, that will help me make better contact, I can think. Well, hope you enjoyed the video um, and thanks for watching. Until next time.